lining the lead and zinc, high grade lead and zinc was underneath this here. It goes further left. And there's a map out front, you can look at the map and you can see how, the, remember I said they're following, mm -hmm. so it goes like this. This is a straight shot, so this is the haulage tunnel. But once they get to the vein, the vein goes who knows which direction, so they follow it, and that's how the mine starts making all these turns. So this would be called a cross cut attic, because it's just crossing back to the structure. And once you hit that structure where the stopes are, then you're drifting on the structure. Yeah, the vein is approximately like where we are in the spot like this. Oh, like that, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so they hit it, and it goes off mostly in this direction. They did go to the right a little bit, but not too much, but they follow it for a thousand feet to the left. So this this one here is a cross-cut attic because it was discovered, like you said before, up on top. Mm -hmm. A lot of times in the mountains you'll find drifts, a drift entry, where the vein, they ha they found the edge of it, and they just they go right in on the vein. So they're, they're actually drifting on the vein and stoping as they go. Now that would be that would be the correct term for that would be a drill. Now how thick was this vein when they found? Um, I have read it's anywhere from five inches to fifteen feet. Mm -hmm. They'll pinch and swell. <laughs> All right, we're a thousand feet back inside the country boys.